Um, so credit coin, we started it back in 2017. We, uh, the premise of credit coin was to connect the ideal capital in developed market, suffering from zero, near to zero interest rate, and connecting those to the high yield opportunities in the emerging market, basically uh, interest rate arbitrage. Um, through the process, we deployed over 100 million to over 2 million people. And while we were on this mission to bank the unbanked, we learned that many of the unbanked are also unconnected. And if you're offline, there's no way for any like, FinTech or DeFi service to serve you. Um, so that we wanted to fi uh, fix this AJSON problem as well. Initially, we looked into existing solutions like Starlink, um, um, but it was just too expensive. Um, you need to pay about $600 for the satellite dish, um, $150 per month as a subscription fee, uh, which is too expensive for the, our target demographic. Um, so we researched more and we learned that thanks to SpaceX and the, the commoditization of the space industry, um, now it's getting cheaper and cheaper every year um, to build and launch satellites. Um, at scale, we believe it will only cost about $20,000 per satellite that, um, type of satellite that we wanted to build and launch. Um, so yeah, so we started Space coin like that and we launched our first satellite December last year expecting to launch three more um, later this year right so so I'm, I'm a crypto guy and with crypto is like basically a software and I, I mean of course if you're running your own mining rig or validators then it starts to touch the, the hardware but you have to build your own hardware for uh, for space coin and the problem of that is it's hard to iterate you know like when you're building a software you can change a line deploy if you don't like it if you find a bug then you can redeploy re fix it so the iteration cycle is very fast but if you're building hardware and especially if you're launching it into space you cannot bring it down and fix it and launch it again so the iteration cycle for space is very long and very difficult so for that reason the the way you develop um, your technology is different so you you have to expect to not to have access to the hardware for a couple of years um, once you launch and so that you have to test it more thoroughly you have to do all the unit test integration tests and so on and so forth so it was much painful compared to the, my experience of building software <laughs> Um, so it took us about two years, roughly, uh, to to initiate the project and finish building the, the satellite and getting it integrated. And while it's not just about building the building the satellite, it's also about um, securing a partnership with governments because we, when you are testing a telecommunication satellite, you need a spectrum license, right? You, you need to get approval from certain jurisdiction governments uh, so that you can project the radio signal down to earth to finish the, the testing of the satellite too. So it, w it was technology development, government relationships, and also you have to finance it. So we had three big projects uh, running in parallel to finish off this project. And when we saw the, the satellite finally launch with the SpaceX rocket, it, w it was like, I, I almost um, cried. Right, so, so for credit coin, we focus on the mission to bank the unbanked. And in, in terms of um, being making the loans available, the capital available for the, the unbanked people, and also building them a credit history, credit profile yeah. by making them transact on top of blockchain instead of just handing out cash and be repaying it on cash. And, and while we were growing, we also learned that we, need, we want to support more types of loans so that we, we converted from being an app chain, loan app chain to a generic EVM compatible L1 now. And because we became an L1, now our team is focusing on basically building the best L1 that we can imagine. So we are we have a project that uh, targeting the interoperability called Universal Smart Contract. And what it does is it uses a ZK rollup to um, archive the block history of other blockchains, and we put it on our blockchain so that our smart contract can readily use events that happened on other blockchains. So this is readability, and also we use that. Uh, feature to write on other blockchain. Uh, we are working on projects that we didn't announce yet on the security and the scalability of our blockchain. So that's what Credit Coin guys are focusing on. Um, for Space Coin, our ultimate goal is to create a decentralized telecommunication satellite network um, and basically permissionless connectivity. And currently internet, because of the cap packs of laying down the fiber optics cable, um, it is centralized to a few telecom uh, telcos, ISPs and governments and that enables 
um, censorship and that enables, um, that hinders the net neutrality. By first, I mean, we never had a decentralized uh, telecommunications or internet infrastructure before, but by enabling that, we will see it uh, completely net neutral uh, internet infrastructure. And once we achieve that, I think um, we will see a bunch of different things happening, like similar to what Bitcoin did to money or Ethereum did to computation. Initially, we wanted to get into two different regions. We, we tried Southeast Asia and we tried Africa. Uh, we weren't too successful in Southeast Asia. Our biggest hurdle in Southeast Asia was um, identification. So it was hard for us to do digital online identification uh, at, at a cost. So we focused more on Nigeria where they had the government backed the digital identification system with your biometrics. Uh, so we were more successful there. Um, in Nigeria, we deployed Deployed over 100 and 100 million in USD to over 2 million people, and we um, acquired a bank called Ella, and that bank is currently servicing over 5 million people. Um, currently, this is a test satellite. Because this is a test satellite, it goes around the whole globe. So um, you will be able to. Um, listen to space coin in your region if you wait long enough but our the product launch will be focused on the equator um, covering countries like Nigeria India Indonesia um, the reason why we're focusing on these three countries for now is because they're the most populated country in each region um, Nigeria they have 250 million people uh, India is the, the largest population on earth and so on and so forth so by covering these three we believe the other countries around it will start adapting the technology Yeah, so, so our satellite design and the telecommunication network design assumes decentralization, meaning that mm. it assumes that the satellites will join and leave freely. So if, if a new satellite gets launched, um, uh, ignoring the, the plane that they will get launched on, um, the, the existing network will allow it to join, given it passes some criteria that we, we have to maintain the quality of the network, allow it to join and start be part of the network, relaying the messages. On that point, so imagine a world where the ISPs or government decides to shut down Bitcoin mining rigs. Mm -hmm. They can because they control the network, but mm -hmm. by having a completely decentralized permissionless network like ours, you can never turn off the blockchain network anymore. So this is one of the security reasons uh, why we were very excited about the idea of SpaceCoin. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, not anyone can just go to space and shut it down. So exactly. that's a very strong proposition. Yeah. So, so um, the an analogy that I give to people was, um, imagine shooting a, shooting a bullet and trying to hit that bullet with another, uh, another shot. Yeah. Because satellite is essentially flying much faster very than fast, bullet. Right? Yeah. So, so hitting, I mean, technically you can, but it's, it's not easy. I can't. You can't. Because it's completely yeah. decentralized. There's nobody who can uh, turn off a certain transaction of Bitcoin mm -hmm. um, upon request of the government already. Um, same same should be true for Spacecoin data transmission. Um, I, I don't want to have any control uh, over the network's um, capability to transmit data. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I, I'm not going to allow anyone else to have either. So we're going to use Spacecoin to uh, you be, to be used as a voting mechanism for space queen governance and also you can buy and launch or build your own satellite and launch your own satellite mm -hmm. be part of this network and become the ultimate voting power of the network yeah. deciding what to transmit and what to not to transmit So a couple of things. So aside from connecting the unconnected, by having a space coin, you can the decentralized network of satellites. You can create a non-virtual VPN, for example. Instead of yeah. going through a certain server, virtual VPN, I can directly connect from one end to the other through a couple of satellites, private network. Essentially. Right. And also because you are communicating over. You can, you can communicate over a long enough distance and your transaction, your data transmission will be faster than the traditional ISPs. So for example, if you want to make a trade and you want your order to hit the NASDAQ 0.1% quicker than other people, I think we can enable that as well. So for CreditCoin, we 
already announced the Universal Smart Contract. Uh, we are doing Ideathon uh, around the Universal Smart Contract. Um, this at KBW. Um, we have a security project that we didn't announce yet. We have a scalability project that we didn't announce yet. And we, we can expect to. Uh, you can expect us to us to announce it uh, within Q of Q4. And for SpaceCoin, we are launching our next three satellites uh, within this year, um, and it will prove a certain uh, capability that this first satellite didn't or couldn't. Um, also, we had we had a very successful launch with the first satellite, and we and it has achieved its mission, uh, which we didn't announce yet. That announcement will also happen within this year. Interesting. Okay. Um, any final words that you'd like to pass on to our audience? Thanks to our community, um, our backers, we have been on this very exciting and interesting journey. Um, I hope we us to uh, go through the next cycle of this space coin as well, and so that you can all. all be as excited as I am and also experience the, the excitement. Basically, I, I want you to share the excitement that I have and see what I am envisioning together.